Alex, let's start with the game. What was going well for your team, and what did you need to improve on to get that win? Uh, yeah, it's hard to tell. A uh, pretty quick game with 50 minutes roll, rolling time, but yeah, I think yeah, a little, a lot of good stuff out there. But yeah, probably yeah, need to transition a little bit better. Uh, all the guys in that was zone together, and yeah, create opportunities from there. And when, then uh, yeah, be a little bit more structured in the D zone. When the offense was good, it was good. Like you guys were scoring back-to-back goals. What was the best characteristics of that offense? No, just everyone like rotating, uh, moving the puck well, uh, get guys in front of the net, put the puck there as well. So yeah. When you look at all the ways that your game could have improved from this development camp, what are the lessons that you're taking away to bring into the rest of the off season? Of course, it's nice to come over here, feel the small ice again. Uh, you learn small stuff all the time, small details from every coach. Try to yeah take in as much as I can every time I'm here. So yeah, I feel I improve some yeah some type of my game that I can go home and. Yeah, practice even more. And what's the plans for the rest of the summer? What are you specifically trying to work on? No, I want to get faster. Yeah, I want to get stronger overall. Uh, I want to be a better stick handler, shoot harder. So, yeah, all the stuff. So I'm going to go home, have a yeah small vacation, then, yeah, back to work. What was the thinking on the, the shootout move and also the penalty shot move? <laughs> no, I, I don't know the penalty shot move. I went, uh, I did that once in Utica this year, but, yeah, he didn't bite on it, so... Yeah, it kind of didn't look that good. And then the second one, yeah, I went with it Yeah, a couple times in practice, just the one-hand backer, backhander, but, yeah, I didn't get it up this time. So it is what it is. Anything surprise you this week? Like, I know you're flown in. You probably haven't been on the ice a lot, just trying to get back through. It was more just, like, working through some things or did you take a lot out of this week? Yeah, I take a lot of this week. Uh, yeah, see some new faces here around, uh, meet all the guys here. Yeah, get some new friends as well. So, yeah, of course, you learn, yeah some stuff all the time when you're here. Did you feel like you're one of the veteran leader guys in this group? I know it's your first I know it's your first development camp, but you yeah. played National Hockey League games, yeah, you played American Hockey yeah. League. Like. Yeah, probably a little, so that's kind of crazy. That's my first development camp, like you said. So, yeah, but I feel a little bit like that. Thanks, man. Both score out there. How did you think that you performed today? Yeah, I mean, it was obviously for midsummer. I was okay, but, uh, you know, uh, it was more fun than anything to be out there with, with your uh, teammates again, and uh, yeah, it was a blast all week. When you look at what your team was doing well, how would you summarize that? Uh, I thought we were moving the puck pretty good, uh, especially later in the game, uh, using each other and, and keeping playing with pace and stuff. So uh, I think those were big things to our game. And when you look, this is a quick week, and you guys aren't necessarily playing on the same teams from the last scrimmage until now. How were you able to build chemistry and really make sure that you're doing the game plan together as one unit? Yeah, I think talk is the biggest thing, you know, throughout the whole week, uh, you know, getting to know different guys, uh, you know, on and off the ice. So I think just communicating with them on the bench and on the ice makes, makes it easier for everyone. You've been in the organization for a bit, so when you look around the room and you see all these new faces and the new talent that's coming up in the system, how would you characterize this next wave of Devils players? Yeah, it's it's really exciting. Uh, you know, a lot of young guys here, a lot of really good players, so it's exciting to see, you know, not only are they talented, but the compete is high for everyone here, and I think that's uh, something that the Devils culture is trying to uh, really move forward with, and uh, you can see it firsthand here. What's your plans for the rest of the offseason? What are you specifically focusing on with your game? I think the biggest thing for me is, you know, continuing to get stronger. Uh, you know, that's just going to help all areas, of my, all areas of my game, um, you know, wall play and, and uh, you know, down low in the corner. So I think that's uh, a big part of my game, and I just need to keep building strength. Was the plan all along to, f- to do the fake slap shot and then uh, bar down, or <laughs> did you kind of lose it when you were doing the slap shot? No, no, that was the plan. Uh, it was going to go two ways, so luckily, luckily, it actually ended up being okay. Is that a move you used before? I uh, just messing around in the summer. And looking at this team, I mean, looking ahead, there's obviously fourth line positioning and positioning for you. One that you had starting last year. You really had to make a difference and, and make yourself known. I mean, you're out there throwing the body, you're getting goals. You feel like you made an impression that you needed to or wanted to take away in this game? Yeah, I, th- I think I made an impression um, building off of uh, training camp and the few games I did play last year. Um, but I have a lot to prove. I don't think anyone's really seen uh, you know, my best game yet. Um, so I know, I know the player I can be, and I, I know I have to show that coming into training camp. So you don't usually see a lot of big hits in a... Uh, <laughs> A development camp scrimmage, I mean, was that part of your mindset of really trying to make an impression? 
Yeah, I think the compete factor is, you know, big again. And you're just trying to set an example for um, for the rest of the guys here at camp. And uh, I also saw Holtzy coming up the middle of the ice, so I was trying to get him. And you got him. Yeah. <laughs> When you look at camp, what did you want to prove to the coaches and all those watching your game? Um, I just wanted to prove that I've had a good summer so far and uh, kind of like the things that I was instructed to work on in my exit meeting in Utica that I I just wanted to demonstrate that I've been working on those things and um, that I've made strides in those areas that they uh, that they want improvement and, and I, I think I have. Um, I feel that I've I've improved my skating over the summer, and um, yeah, I just want to continue to do those things over the rest of the, the course of the summer. So, besides skating, what were some of the other things they wanted you to improve on? Um, just quickness, edges, kind of, kind of everything in the speed, quickness, um, agility, that kind of stuff. When you look at the scrimmage as a whole, what was your team doing really well out there? Um, yeah, we were just uh, kind of play. We were playing as a team. Um, we were moving the puck well and you know winning some winning some puck races and some board battles uh, to keep possession so I think we uh, did pretty well with that. This development camp is all about helping and supporting you guys to get better especially during the summer. How is this a good checkpoint for you especially with your development? Um, yeah it's really good to, to come in and compete with your peers and and these are the guys that you'll we'll be playing with in in the coming years so um, yeah it's just really it's really fun to to, to see everyone again and uh, and have a good week training and skating with everyone. When you look around that locker room and you see all the draft picks and everyone who's coming from Utica and just the whole group of people, what does the Devils' future look like? I think it's very bright. I mean, you see the kind of the blue chip talent, and uh, I think it's uh, I think Devils fans should be excited about about everyone uh, in this room, especially the uh, yeah the top end talented guys. They're they're pretty exciting to watch probably just kind of answered this question, but what was it about New Jersey that really attracted you, that made you want to come to this organization and be part of the team? Um, just the, the the track they're on. I mean, they have a lot of young talent that's uh, that's very promising, and, um, you know, I think that in a few years they'll be they'll be perennial contenders, and uh, and I think they're, they're, they're not very far away from that. Um, and I think that's, that's a step that that I would like them to help. I, I would like to help them in, and um, that's obviously my goal. And uh, but I think that's the that's the way this uh, organization is trending. What did you take away from your time in Utica last year? Obviously, a little bit of a transition from college hockey. Was it a lot different? Was it kind of what you expected? Yeah, um, it was kind of what I expected, and it and it was a big adjustment. I expected an adjustment, and it was. Um, everyone is a very good player. Um, everyone is a professional and their everyone's commitment to the game is very high and it was it was a very good experience for me to learn from the veterans in Utica and uh and yeah it was I I had an awesome time there uh I learned a lot for sure what's the plans for the rest of the off season um yeah just back to training and and working on the things that uh that I that I that I know I have to work on to to make steps in my game.